Hi everyone, it's MJ, the fellow actuary, and in this video, I wanna showcase the project that I've built for Based Around the World, Africa Edition. Now, my project is called Inc., and what we're gonna do is go through a few slides just discussing what it does, and then we're gonna to go to the website and give a demonstration of the smart contracts and everything like that. So overview, we were tasked to solve a challenge in Africa. So the challenge I wanted to address is high inflation in Africa, which tends to make our currencies poor stores of values, which means all our savings get eroded and they are poor mediums of exchanges because prices are forever increasing. So the solution is to create INC, which is an inflation linked token. So it will essentially be a true stable coin for African countries and the exchange rate will be determined by either the consumer price index or the relevant inflation index, depending on the currency that we're targeting. So the process that a user would go through is they would purchase an INC bond, they would pay for this with fiat currency and then they would receive an NFT. They can then earn a yield of INC tokens by staking that NFT and receiving a continuous yield of tokens. And then they can exchange that INC back for fiat currency and the exchange rate is gonna be determined by an inflation index and this way they can get back to fiat if they ever want to and this amount will have accounted for the change in its value due to inflation. How it works? Well, the INC bond pays out INC token at a rate of 10% per year. This means that INC has an asset to liability ratio of 10 to 1, whereas other stable coins tend to have an asset to liability ratio of just 1 to 1. And that 10 to 1 allows our portfolio to be a little bit more, can I say, aggressive or more in the fact that we can match our liabilities, whereas other stable coins have to hold it all in cash well, we're gonna target inflation. So we're gonna have a liability-driven investment approach to match the inflation index. That means government inflation-linked bonds, if they're available, real estate, or various commodities, we can determine, you know, depending on the African currency in question and the variety of commodities, which ones are the perfect match. We will, of course, maintain a small cash reserve so that anyone who wants to withdraw their, their ink token back for fiat can do so. And then the ink token value is gonna be changing regarding to fiat, depending on how inflation was. So if inflation is at 10%, then we're gonna have remain at the value of one fiat is equal to one ink token. But if inflation increases above 10%, the ink token is gonna increase in value and it's going to decrease if inflation is below 10%. So a little bit of maths, a little bit of calculations that have to be done to maintain that but essentially you're stripping out the inflation risk so that the person's value remains the same over time. Now the use case is a savings product, just like those who would buy a bond, they can buy this NFT bond instrument, if, especially if they don't want any exposure to inflation risk. And essentially that INC token can come into the crypto ecosystem and be a true stable coin for Africa. Why? Because the value isn't gonna be eroded by inflation and then prices don't have to be keeping updated. So merchants are gonna love it because they don't have to keep raising their prices. Users are gonna love it because it's a better store of value. So an example uh, that we're gonna demonstrate in the video with the website is the South African Rand. And in the website, we use Tailwind CSS as well as Third Web for our blockchain. Um, we did even create a custom Solidity contract for the token swap. I've built uh, this on the base chain. And what we're gonna see is we're gonna pull in base names and we're gonna be using the Coinbase smart wallet to log in and interact with this app. So yeah, let's jump into it. So here we are on the site and you can reach it by going to inktoken.netlify.app. And we've got our homepage, we've got some images, we've got some text, links to some articles, we've got the inflation index of the various African countries. And if you were to go to say inflation, you can read up more about the dangers of it. Under tokenomics, we explain a little bit more of the process which we went through, um, there's the image popping up, uh, more through just the information that we went through on, on the slides, as well as say if you go to the portfolio, you can read up more about the investments. Because I guess at the end of the day, 
Who's going to be using this is that an asset manager or a government could set up a site like this that therefore allows people to just invest into their channels in a very easy to do manner. In fact, let's actually go to the smart contracts and the blockchain component of this website. So here we have Get Inked and we can connect a wallet and we can use the Coinbase smart wallet in order to interact with this app. So connect to invest at Inc. We can click approve. And with our smart wallet, we've got an inside here. Now, I've already got an asset staked, so you can see it's busy generating some Ink token for us. But if we were to get a new one, we can click invest. Now, normally you would have to pay an amount in order to get this token. I've been playing around with mouse like 10,000 Rand or a million Rand, but for testing purposes so that you can test and try it out, I have taken that price away. So you basically are getting these NFTs for free. Uh, we're using the smart wallet. So we just use the passcode that is in the computer. And essentially that's going to mint us our NFT. So once that is done, our NFT should be popping up over here. There we go, we have our, our NFT and we can come click stake it. First, we need to just approve. So with a lot of things with crypto, first approve and then do the action. Again, we're using the smart wallet from Coinbase on the base network. We're gonna click confirm. Every single time I'm doing this, it does cost a little bit of, of ETH. So make sure if you are playing with this, you do have the required amount of ETH needed to do it. It's just small amount, so it shouldn't be too too much. And then we click confirm. Um, when I was playing with having you know the random amount, you could actually make that payment using your credit card, which is another cool feature of the, the smart wallet. So what's now happened is that asset has left our wallet and it's gone into the staking. And we can see these are the two over here that we can we can click you know to to withdraw uh, the one that we've just staked and again that's going to be another transaction i'm not going to do it just because you know these things take a little bit of time and instead i want to show you how to claim your ink so we can click over here and this is the ink that we've been earning you can see i was starting it yesterday that's why we've already generated close to two ink token um, with 10% on 10,000, you're looking at around your 2.7 tokens that you're generating at the end of the day. But that, of course, is getting released to you continuously. So you can kind of get it whenever you want. And there you can see that your ink token has now been claimed. And that amount goes back to zero. And our ink balance has now increased. We can, of course, exchange our ink tokens back for RAND tokens. So if we wanted to say um, exchange 10, now, when we exchange ink for rands using the smart uh, the smart wallet, we do kind of get this little loading up screen. And I think the reason for that is that this was a custom contract that we deployed directly to to the blockchain. So if we were to change, um, we were to disconnect, and we were to log in with MetaMask um, and come in over here, and we were to change, say. 10 of this token uh, for, for RANDs, we will get the MetaMask, which will come up and you can see that in this situation, we're losing 10 ink and we're getting five RANDs because the way we've set the exchange rate is that the inks are worth half. Of course, we can always change that exchange rate to make them double or 10% or whatever the actual inflation experienced is, is going to be. So this is just for testing amounts. And of course, we can then click confirm. And then on this account, we will see that the 10 will decrease and our RAND amount will go up. And I mean, also in your MetaMask, you'll have your tokens. And you can see I gave myself a lot of, uh, I'm, a, I'm a millionaire <laughs> in the fake RAND token that we've been using along with the ink token. And those are the ERC tokens that we've created there. But essentially what we can do is we can accept any ERC token for the NFT that can then be staked and then generate a you know token that represents um, output from the fund. And then we can claim that back into whatever currency. 
And this can be a really nice interface for asset managers to interact and deploy products to people predominantly in Africa, but I guess, you know, to the whole world in a much quick and direct access because for those of you who have gone to get investment products, you know, there's a lot of paperwork and this is a way to potentially streamline that process. And job yeah, that essentially is the, the website. Thank you so much for, for watching. And yeah, you can check it out at inktoken.netlify.app. And like I say, I have been playing with the values of the the NFT, but I have made it zero uh, just so that people can, can play around with it. Um, until then, I'll see you guys later. Cheers.